This question is about when we do evangelism, if we approach them with the needs instead of the sins, is that a problem? Yeah. Kwa hivyo, nukutia nende ingalawa nyakananga, mulolanga ni ishida ta, kubutinyu wabali nabo. The person, a person become a Christian, the main thing is that at one point of his life that he repent of his sin and trust in Jesus as a savior. But it doesn't have to happen the first instance we talk to them. You notice when Jesus and even the disciples do the ministry, did the ministry in the Gospels and the Book of Acts, they were not always presenting sins first. The Bible, the Bible only says that, you know, we who confess the sin and trust in Jesus as Savior, then they are saved. But we don't have to talk about sins or eternal life in the first place. When Jesus talked with the Samaritan woman, he first talked about living water. Because, because he was asking for water. And then he talked about living water. When Paul was in Philippi, he, you know, uh, he drove out demon from the slave girl. Wakati Paulo alikuwa katika Filipino. And then he was put in jail. It's a miracle, the change, and then, and then the, uh, the jailer uh, want to be saved. And in the book of Acts, we have Peter healing the, uh, uh, the, the cripple. And then he talked about Jesus Christ instead of talking about sins first. Yeah, you, you read through the Bible, you see Jesus and the disciples use different methods. Okay. So it, it, you know, and also some people say evangelism is just with the word of God, just with the word. But the Bible says also with miracles and with the power of the Holy Spirit. And, I, and the Bible verse is in Romans 15, 18 to 19. And then 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 2 to 5. Mm -hmm.